Hey y'all, it's Rose and I am back with another video. And today we are gonna talk about Divi Business Credit Card. This is a real gem for my people who are just getting started with their businesses and you need some funding. You don't wanna have a personal pull on your credit. <laughs> that Divi business credit card works is you're going to do your application as far as the requirements now one of the requirements is you have to have a business bank account because they're going to check and see what your business revenue is in that business bank account for the last three months so whether that be with the last three months of bank statements or sometimes you may have to connect your business bank account in general but this is going to be an approval where they are not going to do any personal credit check on your personal credit at all it is based on you having a business bank account and whatever that revenue was within the last three bank statements so let's say you recently started your business and each month you've had at least put at least a thousand dollars in there $500, whatever. Um, I had someone who had recently started a business, had their bank account, only had about $1,000 worth of revenue, and they were approved for $2,000. So, you know, if you roughly have three to $5,000 going in and out of that account, you can get approved anywhere from five to 10. It's really based on the revenue that is coming in that bank account. Now for my newer business owners, if you aren't necessarily having the revenue come in, one thing you can do is transfer money from your personal to your business account to kind of allow you to have some type of money in that business bank account so that you're showing that your business is making some type of revenue. That's normally what I would suggest, just making transfers on a monthly basis, nothing major, if you just wanna use that as a business savings account so that you can have some type of money going in there to start to show that cash flow. Now, as far as doing the Div Divi business application, the way that this card works, it is a line of credit. So, with a line of credit, it's not like a regular credit card. If you get approved for $5,000 for a line of credit and you spend $1,000 of that line of credit, once your monthly bill is due, you must pay the full $1,000 of that amount off. So this isn't going to be a card that you necessarily want to pay installments on the money that you spend because you have to pay it right back at the end of that month because it is only a line of credit. Also, Divi is a business credit card that reports to your business credit. It actually does report to your Paydex, which is your Duns and Bradstreet business credit score. So if you are also looking to build and boost your business credit scores, once you get this Divi business credit card, it will report there and it will report your on-time payments to help build your business scores as well. Now, as far as your approval rates, you can get approved anywhere from a thousand all the way up to $400,000. I've been associated with them for a while. I've seen um, people in my group on Facebook or in my class get approved for five, eight thousand, all the way up to like $13,000. So again, because it is revenue based, however much money you have flowing in your business bank account within the last 90 days is what they're going to determine your approval amount will be you do get a physical credit card and then you also get a virtual card as well the good thing about this card is because you're paying off whatever your balance is on a monthly basis there are no annual fees there are no interest rates or things of that nature so that's how you're able to get approved without there being any pull on your personal credit scores itself 
So when you're doing your application itself, they are gonna ask for some basic business information. I'm gonna put that application process up on the screen. So they're gonna start out with asking for your business email address. Once they ask for your business email address, you'll have to do a verification code, all that kind of great stuff. Now, when you're in, entering in your business information, it's going to ask you about your business entity. If you have an LLC, you're going to put your business name in LLC. If you have an S Corp, whatever that is, so on and so forth, it is going to ask you what your monthly income or your annual revenue is. Pretty much for your monthly income, whatever you know the business is bringing in. And your annual revenue would be that amount times 12 because again you are going to have to show proof in your business bank account for the last 90 days of bank statements for them to actually see what you're putting on the application matches up what really shows in your bank account so make sure you're putting the most accurate numbers as possible now again if you are just starting the process of building business credit or you just started a business and you or you've been having a business and you know your business is bringing money in, this is a great way to get approved for a line of credit to really jumpstart things on what you may need to get to take your business to the next level. Divi is a great option. No personal guarantee, they will not pull your personal credit. It's based on your last 90 days of business bank statements. You do need to have a business bank account to be able to get approved for this account and you must have a LLC corporation S Corp some type of legal business entity as well to be able to get approved for this account you cannot have a DBA or things like that you have to have your documents really filed with the Secretary of State for your business to get those approvals so if you guys want to sign up remember it doesn't hurt you to do your application because Either you're gonna get approved or denied. There's no pull on your credit. So I would suggest if you have a business bank account and you have at least 90 days of business bank statements, go ahead and apply for Divi Business Credit Card. It is going to give you a line of credit and also it is a great free option for you to start the process of building out your business credit because it does report to your Duns & Bradstreet business credit score, which is your paydex. So if you're looking to start jumpstart building your business credit without having to pay any additional funds and just go off what your business is already making, this is going to be a great option for you to go ahead and get the approvals that you need. Thank you guys again. If you have any questions for me about business funding, what you need to do, how you want to take your business to the next level, please comment it below and I'm more than happy to help. For hanging with me here at Rose Credit Repair and don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below if you have any credit questions. I'm going to be answering them myself in the comments. So you know what to do. Until next time.